With the help of measurements from the Juno spacecraft orbiting the planet, scientists have been able to construct a 3D depiction of Jupiter's environment for the first time. And the results of the pictures have left various scientists surprised. The Juno spacecraft's latest discovery includes a magnetic great blue spot, Earth's oceans, and the Juno image of Jupiter's ring. Stick around to the end of this video to know all about how Elon Musk and NASA's new Jupiter discovery changes everything. For something to have been done and dismissed three years ago, NASA's Juno spacecraft has a busy schedule ahead of exploring Jupiter and its large moons. The spacecraft entered orbit around Jupiter on July 4, 2016 and has survived bombardment from intense radiation at the largest of the solar system's planets. It is now finishing its primary mission, but NASA has granted it a four-year extension and 42 more orbits. Basically, we designed and built an armored tank, said Scott J. Bolton of the Southwest Research Institute in San Antonio, who is the mission's principal investigator, and it worked. The additional orbits of the extended mission will also enable further investigations of the mysteries that Juno has revealed. Like the rings of storms at the North and South Poles, eight storms around the North Pole, five around the South Pole. At one point, it looked as if a sixth storm was entering the group at the South Pole, but then it was pushed away. It's like five bullies on the playground, right? Said Candace J. Hansen Koharchek, a scientist at the Planetary Science Institute in Susan, Arizona, who is responsible for the operation of the spacecraft's primary camera, Juno Cam. Oh no, you cannot join our game. But if you had 100, then that would be too close, and they wouldn't be stable, he said. There is this magic number that can make it work. Two storms would easily fit in a polar region without disrupting each other, said Yohai Kaspi, a professor of Earth and Planetary Sciences at the Wiseman Institute of Science in Israel and a co-investigator on the mission. Jupiter is essentially a very big ball made up of mostly hydrogen, but it has turned out to be a complicated ball. The mission's discoveries include lightning higher up than thought possible, rings of stable storms at the north and south poles, and winds extending so deep into the interior that they might push around the planet's magnetic fields. I think this has been a revelation, said David J. Stevenson, a professor of planetary science at the California Institute of Technology and a co-investigator on the mission. Jupiter flybys have been employed in the outer photovoltaic system due to all the missions. Jupiter has essentially become the most visited of the photovoltaic system's other planets. Juno, the second spacecraft to enter the planet's orbit, arrived on July 5, 2016 and became the second craft to take action in the historical past. In June, NASA introduced that SpaceX had been chosen to fly a deliberate mission to Jupiter's frozen moon Europa, a major victory for Elon Musk's firm because it gets more information about the photovoltaic system. Properly, that is nonetheless in movement. However, with the assistance of Juno information, the first ever 3D picture of Jupiter's environment constructed by scientists has been of more advantage than disadvantage. Microwave mild permits planetary scientists to look underneath Jupiter's colorful clouds, allowing them to comprehend the climate and local weather within the hotter, darker, deeper layers has revealed an X. The spacecraft orbiting our photovoltaic system's largest planet has revealed an extra full view of how the planet's distinctive and colorful atmospheric options reveal information in regards to the actions occurring beneath its clouds. Since 2016, the Juno mission has been circling our photovoltaic system's largest planet, snapping pictures of its spectacular swirls. The mission has furthered understanding of the Great Red Spot showing that the iconic giant storm, which has persisted for centuries, extends more than 200 miles deep into Jupiter's atmosphere, and it has led to the discovery of a new region scientists call the Great Blue Spot. Kimberly M. Moore, a postdoctoral researcher at Caltech, compared Juno's magnetic measurements with observations by earlier spacecraft to see how magnetic fields in the Great Blue Spot have changed over the decades. The strength of the magnetic fields within the Great Blue Spot is changing by as much as 1% per year, growing stronger in some places, weakening in others. By the end of the extended mission in 2025, Dr. Moore will have almost a decade of data to test her hypothesis which foresees up to 10% changes during that time. 
That's what our model predicts, and we want to test it, she said. The scientists are likely to come across new mysteries too. The Great Blue Spot is at about the same latitude as the Great Red Spot. The fact that they travel at different speeds suggests that maybe they're unlikely to be related, Dr. Moore said. But maybe there is some sort of causal mechanism. It is all just one fluid planet after all. According to reports, Juno will not be passing this close to Ganymede again, but it will be making flybys of two other big and very different moons. Cracks in the surface and you have a lot of lava rivers, something like that, said Alessandro Mura of the National Institute for Astrophysics in Rome, who leads Juno's infrared mapping research. Europa's ice shell is thinner than Ganymede's, so the chances are higher of finding a smooth spot where water or frozen vapor recently erupted onto the surface. We'd be looking for surface deposits that might look fresh or particularly bright, Dr. Hansen Koharczyk said. All this might not have been possible if not for that propulsion glitch. If the spacecraft had orbited Jupiter every 14 days instead of 53, Juno might have not been in a position to perform the flybys of the moons. I think it was fortuitous, Dr. Bolton said.